Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today in honor of the summer solstice, I'm sharing a summer solstice body milk. So this is an ultra light, very fluid emulsion that is you know, designed to hydrate and moisturize your skin and is also designed for you know, a time of year when you're not crazy keen about putting on heavier creams. That's really lightweight, packed with some of my favorite humectants and smells really lovely and summery. So I'm pretty sure this is the thinnest emulsion I have ever shared. It has roughly the viscosity of unwhipped whipping cream or heavy cream, something that has roughly like a 33 to 35% milk fat uh, percentage. So it's definitely very fluid. It's not quite thin enough to spray. I think you could put this in a spray bottle if you wanted to and it would spray out, but it wouldn't mist. It would come out in more of a jet. So I have opted to put it in something with a treatment pump top instead. But I also think this could be really lovely in a bottle with a bit of an orifice reducer at the top. So something similar to the bottles that some of the thinner facial emulsions from like Japanese and Korean brands come in, that would also be, I think, really lovely. When formulating low viscosity emulsions, stability can be a challenge. This particular formulation came out of some experiments that I worked on late last summer as I was getting to know glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate, which is the emulsifier in this formulation. And I got very excited about how it doesn't thicken products. So I made a bunch of really thin products with varying amounts of sort of added stabilizers, viscosity builders, so different gelling agents and things like subtle alcohol, and then just kind of waited to see uh, which ones were stable. And so this formulation has grown out of one of the ones that was stable, but lots of them weren't. If I didn't include some kind of a gum or a gelling agent, and if I didn't include enough of it, the product would be you know, like skim milk thin, uh, but unfortunately it would split as time went on. So with that in mind, there are two absolute must-have ingredients in this formulation. One of them is our emulsifier, glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate. Please don't substitute that. And then I've also included some Cepamax Zen as our gelling agent. You don't necessarily have to use that one, but that is one that I have tested this formulation with and uh, was part of those tests that I did last summer. So if you do want to play around with that, you might want to be prepared for a bit of testing and redevelopment to create something that feels great on the skin and is stable. So those two ingredients are our key ingredients for creating a stable emulsion. After that, I've included some sweet grass hydrosol because to me it smells like sunshine on warm grass in the summer and is just a gorgeous, wonderful summer scent. I've included two great humectants. We have propanidyl 1,3 and some hyaluronic acid. I've kept the emollients ultra light. So this is actually an oil-free formulation as well. Our primary emollient is cocoa caprolate and then I've also included some cyclomethicone for extra slippy slip but if you don't want to use the cyclomethicone you could just use more cocoa caprolate instead or read the blog post and look up cyclomethicone in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia for even more substitution suggestions. All right, I think that is enough chat. I know many of you have been asking for really lightweight body milk style emulsion. So I hope you love this. I'm so excited to share this with you. Let's go make it. We'll begin by combining the ingredients for our heated oil phase in a beaker that is big enough to accommodate the head of your immersion blender. So you're going to need one and a half grams of glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate. And it absolutely has to be this emulsifier. Please look it up in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia to learn more. You'll need eight grams of cocoa caprolate. This is a really lightweight emollient and is a big part of you know, why this formulation is so weightless. And 0.3 grams Cepamax Zen. So this is a gelling agent that lends just a wee bit of viscosity to this formulation so that it remains stable. Up next, we've got our heated water phase. So in this beaker, I already have 32.7 grams of distilled water. To that, I'm going to add 20 grams of a 1% low molecular weight hyaluronic acid solution. And to learn more about this, make sure you are checking out the 
recommended reading, which is linked in the partner blog post, which is linked in the description box below this video. You'll need 30 grams sweetgrass hydrosol or a different hydrosol that smells like summer that you love or just use more distilled water for an unscented final product. And then our last ingredient is five grams of propanidiol 1-3. Before we move on to heating, we are going to weigh the water phase and note that weight, making sure to note that it also includes the spatula. And so this will allow us to replace any water lost to evaporation during heating. So to heat everything through, we are going to use a water bath. So this is a wide flat bottom saute pan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And to heat everything through, I'm going to go put this on the stove top over medium heat until everything in the oil phase has melted. Though keep in mind that the gelling agent, that white powder, that's not going to melt. So we're just looking for the flakes of emulsifier to have melted. Uh, and then the water phase you know, will be heated up to the same temperature and then we will be ready to carry on. So I will see you when that has happened. <laughs> Once everything has heated through, you can remove your water bath from the heat and then remove your beakers from the water bath. Our first step is going to be replacing any water lost to evaporation and refer to that number we wrote down earlier and add just enough preheated distilled water to bring that back up to where we started. And then our next step is adding our water phase to the oil phase. Give that a bit of a stir. I can feel the Cephamax Zen already starting to hydrate and lend a bit of viscosity to the mixture. Uh, now we'll grab our immersion blender and start blending. So as you can see, this is still really very thin, but also, you know, that is what we're going for. This is a body milk, not a body cream or lotion or yogurt. So we're going for, you know, a bit of a milk-like consistency. So this is still pretty warm. So I'm gonna leave it to cool for about five minutes and come back and blend it a bit more. All right, so it's been about five minutes and this has cooled down a bit. I can feel that it's not quite as not really hot anymore, just kind of like vaguely warm, uh, but as you can see, still nice and thin and milky, gorgeous. Gonna give this a bit more of a blend. I'm going to set this aside now to cool down a bit more while we weigh out our cool down phase. So these two ingredients are all we'll need for our cool down phase. So we'll start with our preservative, Liquid Dermal Plus going to need half a gram of this. And if you are wondering about using a different preservative instead of Liquid Dermal Plus, please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post. I've linked to an FAQ and a helpful preservatives chart that I've created on that topic. And something you might notice is that this bottle of Liquid Dermal Plus is from Yellow Bee. I'm sure you've seen me use their packaging in the past, uh, but they've started selling ingredients now. So this is not at all sponsored. I just sort of thought I'd give you a heads up. New awesome place that you can shop for ingredients. I really like that they have packaged their preservatives and some of their liquid actives and whatnot in these bottles with these little nice kind of dispenser caps makes it a lot easier to just use a little wee bit of it but yes they gifted me a selection of their ingredients and i've been really happy with everything i've tried so far and then we'll need two grams of cyclomethicone if you are looking for substitutions or alternatives please make sure you're reading the blog post this gives us just the most lovely slip in the final product once the body milk has cooled to room temperature, we can combine it with our cool down phase. So I'll begin by pouring just a small amount of the body milk into the cool down phase and then stirring to combine. And then because this body milk is so thin, I'm not as worried about getting the cool down phase perfectly incorporated in this little bowl because we can just pour everything back into the parent batch and then blend it again with our immersion blender to make sure that everything is nice and uniform. And once everything is nice and uniform, all that is left is packaging up this gorgeous summer solstice body milk. So for packaging, you're going to want to use something with a relatively small kind of pump dispenser 
or something with one of the turret caps would work well. It's just this is very runny. So if we put this in a normal lotion pump, uh, you're going to have big spoosh. So this is a airless pump bottle from Yellow Bee. This was a gift and it's got a treatment pump cap. And so I generally find that this is thin enough that you can just pour it straight into your bottle. For a bit of a use demo, we'll just get the pump primed up here. If you don't fill an airless pump bottle completely, you do end up having to pump out some of the air at the top before you can start using it. But there we go. You can see it is really quite thin, very light, just spreads over the skin beautifully. It's got lots of motion. I've actually been sort of experimenting with using this for massage as well, and it's quite good. It's I'm definitely feeling inspired to create a variation on this formulation that is you know, specifically designed for uh, a massage application. But yeah, it's really lovely. A soft, sweet grass scent from the hydrosol and ultra light and really moisturizing, hydrating, perfect for hot summer days where you know, a thicker moisturizer just feels like a, a bit much. And here we are. So we just made a gorgeous summer solstice body milk. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please remember to read the full partner blog post linked in the description box below this video to learn a lot more about this formulation, including information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, links to places to buy all the ingredients and a whole lot more. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.